This is just a remembrance, ladies and gentlemen, of the people we lost in 2020. And having said that, if you still have loved ones that you haven't told you love them, if you have loved ones you have some petty strife with and you can overcome it, try to make things whole with those people if you can. Take a look at this. This just in, actor Chadwick Boseman has died. He was just 43 years old. Everybody is the hero in their own story. He of course starred in Black Panther. The impact of that is something that nobody can actually write about. Yet. I hope people are proud when they finish watching the movie. He broke stereotypes and became a role model for black youth. Boseman had been fighting colon cancer for four years, but never spoke about his diagnosis. Boseman has probably begun a weight loss regimen for a future role superpower you wish you had in real life. I wish I could freeze time. You gotta get sick of hearing Wakanda. No, I want Wakanda. I want us to be Wakanda. Wakanda represents a thing that the people are proud of, people aspire to. We know what it's like to be beneath and not above. And that is what we went to work with every day. If we're around here assuming that the black characters in the show are criminals on drugs and dead peep parents, then that would be stereotypical, wouldn't it? He slid my resume back in his desk and said, we'll be watching you. Dang. T-String, I can't lie, man. Him and RBG are the two that hurt me the most. And also my man, Good Trouble. Those are the three deaths that had me just yeah. get over the toilet, man. But talk about the significance of the individuals who touched your heart the most that we saw go away in 2020. Yeah, man. Uh, you know, Chadwick Boseman was right up there, you know, you know, right at the top because he was just coming to that apex in his life and his career. Uh, those, those of you that have followed him for a couple of years, you know, seen him uh, represent, you know, uh, black culture and stuff. Uh, in some of his previous in some of his previous roles but it wasn't really until black panther that he got that you know he got that attention uh, that that role demanded and so you know it's always hurtful when you see um you know young power like that that's 
that has such a great body of influence. You know, Kobe Bryant is the same way, you know, had a great body of influence over, you know, over a lot of people. You know, these are these are men or people that um, individuals actually look up to and be like, I want to be like him or, you know, and so when every time you lose one of those people, it's is definitely uh, a bruise to the to the culture, um, as well as you know, as well as our hearts, because you know, you know, it's something special when you feel impacted by the death of someone that you physically do not know. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and so you know, when people have when people have that type of influence and they're able to project a certain type of energy that demands that respect of course you know you know it, you you feel a little bit like you got that and you know and you know so uh you know so there you know there's there's a few people and then you know there there there's of course these uh unsung heroes you know uh personally you know that that each each of us may have known that 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 wasn't a star, or you know that may have been a neighbor, or you know a parent, or you know a sibling, or somebody that that we actually honored and and respected, and you know, and it was just you know it was just their time is you know it's unfortunate because these are you know as as much as we we have as far as understanding and you know in life and death or theological principles or whatever the case is still a lot that we don't understand. And so we can't do anything but grieve in those moments. Uh, so, uh, you know, so we, we, we've lost, we've lost some, some, some great icons, man. Yeah, and man. That were, were actually headed to icon status. If, if they were not, if they're not currently, you know, seen as icon status, but, uh, you know, life goes on you know and in these cases it's, it's time for some someone else unheard of to pick up the baton and carry on the race you know we, we don't know who the next bozeman is going to be hopefully uh, it's going to be you hopefully it's about <laughs> to be you <laughs> <laughs> yeah yeah so that, that would be lovely wouldn't it? let's not uh, get it man yeah so you know I, it's, it's just it's just my prayer and my, my hope that you know people you know people pay your respect and give your flowers while people are alive i mean because you know once the soul is separated from the body you know it, it's it's going on they, they you know it's it's nothing more it, the the stories that we love you and all this stuff you know it, it it don't benefit the deceased, you know. So it's you know, it's it's good to give that to give that praise and that affirmation. Why people are still here, where it can be where it can be utilized, where it can be used to actually change the life. You know, simple words like that, man, could you know could really change somebody's life because though they're really thought provoking. When someone look you dead in your eyes and and just tell you how much they appreciate you. And the work and the efforts that you have done, and and they aspire to following your path and stuff like that. That's that's moving. You got that right. Um, um, T Street, let me pass the baton to Larry so we can kind of stay on time time on mission. So Larry, what about you? Who died this year that you know sticks in your crawl because you enjoy what they was doing while they was on this planet? Yeah, man. I mean, don't get me wrong. I, I don't want to sound like I don't like I didn't care or anything about Chadwick Boseman, but I wasn't surprised. We we talked about it on the show a number of times and just personally about how skinny he was. And, you know, some people had jokes about stuff. And I, I remember both of us saying, nah, this brother must be sick. Something's up that you don't get that skinny. Larry, you know, did, did they not come for our necks? I, I yeah. can recall them coming after us saying, we don't know what the hell we're talking about. And I'm yeah. like, for crying out loud, I've been a personal trainer. I, I know about weight loss, weight gain. I know about that. And they came for me and Larry's next when we said, this is more than getting ready for a road. 
Yeah. Yeah. So, I mean, I mean, the reason the reason why I say that is because it didn't hit me as hard because it was expected. It's one of those things when you see it happen, you have time to, to mentally, emotionally prepare for it. You know what's happening. But I guess the one that really shocked me the most was, you know, was uh, was Kobe because, I mean, I just not not like I knew Kobe or was that was my homie or anything, but I always I always had sort of a personal connection with them because I used to I joke and say that he and I went pro the same year because when I was in college, you know, when I was in college, I was shooting, you know, I was a photographer and I used to shoot a lot of uh, a lot of high school sports for a local newspaper while I was out in, on the East Coast. And one of the schools that I used to shoot was Lower Marion. And so um, and I used to shoot, you know, I used to shoot Coatesville High School where, where Rip Hamilton went. And I would shoot Lower Marion where Kobe went and they, you know, those two were friends and competitors. And, and, and it turned out, you know, I moved to LA the same time that Kobe went to the Lakers. And I remember shooting the Lakers, you know, like it was, I think it was, might've been a preseason game or something. And I was on the sidelines and he was like, what are you doing here? And I was like, I'm going pro just like you are. And, you know, we kind of laughed and, and that was that. And, and, you know, so I always had that little bit of a connection, but when I heard he when that, that helicopter crashed, because it was so unexpected and mm-hmm. it just came out of nowhere, man. That like yeah. when that when I heard that, I just didn't even believe it because it was one of those things you hear like those internet rumors where they say someone's dead and you're like, Yeah, whatever, man. Mm-hmm. And then that one turned out to be true, and it was just that one was really terrible. And you know, I mean, there was just it felt it felt like I mean and this is this is the sad thing about this year, right? It felt like because of COVID and because of Donald Trump and the election and all that, there was so much horribleness going on that I don't feel like we really took the time to appreciate some of the people that we've lost this year. I mean, it seemed like no joke. It seemed like every other day there was somebody that was going out. It was just, yeah, man. it was a really tough year. I mean, I just saw, you know, I just saw the other day, I think it was day before yesterday or something, that Shabadoo died. Now, I don't know if y'all know, remember Shabadoo? Shabadoo was that was the dude that used to break dance and pop lock. He was in that movie Breaking. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. He did? Yeah, yeah, dude died the other day. He was only 65. But Shabadoo was like, when I was growing up, that was my dude. I I was I knew I was gonna be Shabadoo, <laughs> man. I was gonna be up there popping and breaking. <laughs> And he used to hang out in LA, you know, for business. I used to, man, I used to, man, I, I just knew I was going to be Shabadoo, you man. know? And so it's, you know, to hear that he went out, it was, you know, it's, and then, you know, Mary, you know, Marianne from Gilligan's Island, Don Wells, she went out too. It's just, it seems like this year has just been a nonstop barrage yeah. of, of complete just, yeah. I don't even want to say a word, but it's just, it, they just leaving here, brothers. Like people just they disappearing up out of this joint left and right. I know. And, D, somebody pointed out Tiny Lister, you know, who went out. I mean, we can't forget him. It's just the thing. There's so many. You don't want to forget people, but there's just so many that have that have gone this year. It's just, it's just it's just crazy. Yeah, man. It's like it's, it's like this was a magnet year or something for death. And um we did a report as a group on um, Shad, I forgot his last name, from WWE, who drowned saving his child. You remember that, fellas? Yeah. Man. The big wrestler, he died saving his kid. And that was this year. How do we forget yeah. that? Um, I don't know, man. There's a lot of them. Yeah. but And then, like Larry said, in the background of all that, we still are dealing with all the things going on with COVID, we're losing some 3,000 people a day right now. Yeah, on top of that. Um, so like I said, fellas, just keep we got to keep our people together, we got to try to stay united and try to keep informing people as best we can on our platform. Because I'm, 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 I'm a little concerned. This new variant of COVID, we talked about this the other day. It is making people, young people sick. Those people in their 20s that didn't see any effects of it, 
until you know they're saying that you can have heart effects later on down the road. But these people will walk around asymptomatic. This new variant is causing those people to fall to their knees. Now, yeah. I've said, if you some a-hole who like to run around out here with no mask on, you need to get what's coming to you because we're never going to get past this if you don't, A, wear a mask and then B, take the vaccine. And a lot of these people are talking about they ain't doing both. And now you got this variant. Maybe this will get people to get their ass in gear. I'm hoping. But yeah, I, I just say, man, I don't want to see people get sick and die. But I, I have to I have to admit that the 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 likelihood that you have a bunch of young 20 somethings and, and 30 somethings, maybe even teenagers getting seriously, seriously ill, as terrible as that is, might be what is needed in order for people to stop going out and doing stupid stuff like going to big ass parties. Right. Down, I mean, mm -hmm. just a couple of weeks ago, that Dan Con Canelo fight, they had like 15, 30,000 people, something like that, in an arena for a boxing match. They were talking about, I think it was in Vegas or something, they had 10,000 people out in the streets for New Year's just, just earlier today. I mean, maybe that's what it takes is for these younger folks to get deathly ill before they decide, you know what? It's time to stop. It's time to just dial it back, stay at home, wear the mask, 